you get to the Christmas, please give us a reasonable offer so we can take care of our family. We have children going to school as well, just like every other government pay prices. And we need our money. We fed up. We do what? Fed up. We do what? Fed up. What we do? Fed up. Thanks again for the tremendous outpour of support to the Central Committee. It reminds us that unity is strength and that with unity we can achieve the feat. I am saying to you today that we will not relent from our position that we have earned our salary through overtime work and the government has a responsibility to us to ensure that that compensation is made. We are not going to sacrifice not one dollar. We gave them an opportunity to settle this matter peacefully in and in good faith. Mm -hmm. And they have relinquished on every aspect of their obligation. They have breached their fiduciary obligation not only to the rank and file membership, but to the people of Jamaica. Yay. And to this extent, I am imploring of you to stick within the remit of professionalism and understand that with unity and partnership which the citizens have demonstrated and the region have demonstrated to us through the numerous calls and the international community that is looking on have called the police federation to advise us that they are looking on and they are in solidarity with us and they are prepared to assist in whatever way they can to ensure that justice is served. Service to the people of Jamaica is important to us because you would have seen by the mere show of demonstration through the effort and the partnership of the citizens getting the information from the police federation to our public education campaign that it has the message has reached. So it is time for our employers in the midst of everything to take stock and to come to grips with reality that national security is priority and that the men of, and women of the constabulary force will not continue to subsidize national security. We will not continue to accept any aspect of failure. It is that they must now live up to their obligation that we can serve the people of Jamaica faithfully as we have sworn to do. And we are not going to sacrifice the hard earned monies that we earn we had to turn back buses this morning to go and assist in other areas and for that reason I must say commendation to the membership for stirring response to duty call. But one thing I would also want to urge you, never mistreat or abuse the citizens of Jamaica. They are our greatest stakeholder in all of this. They are making sure they hold our elective representatives accountable because they have Fail the people, and we are saying a big thank you to the citizens of this country and to our international partners who are watching. Thank you. The government, I believe today, have seen a demonstration of support and unity and strength, and I believe they can extrapolate from this and learn some valued lessons going forward. We are stronger together. And with unity, we can achieve everything. And a house that is divided cannot stand. So let us continue to unite and to partner with the people of Jamaica and where education is wide, be prepared to empower them with knowledge. Just let good sense prevail in all scheme of things.